A woman in a shitty mood thinks she can vent her anger at an easy target, a man. Turns out he's blind, but her sense of privilege is so entrenched that she doesn't think that's relevant. She's a woman complaining about a creepy man, so she has the high moral ground and must be placated. Is it her extreme narcissism or her heightened sense of privilege? I'm blind. If you know what those two words mean, you are much smarter than the girl who was screaming at me at the gym. Let me explain. I'm standing there doing a tricep pushdown exercise, and since I can't see, I'm just kind of staring off into space doing my thing. Halfway through a set, I start hearing footsteps that seem like they're coming in my direction, getting closer and closer and closer, until all of a sudden, this wound's right up in my face going, I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? I didn't come here to be stared at. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Her response? I don't care, stop staring at me! Huh? She storms off and comes back with the manager a couple minutes later. I reach into my wallet and pull out an ID card from the Massachusetts Commission for the Blind and explain to this guy as well, I'm blind, I wasn't staring at anybody. <laughs> he says, okay, but you still can't make other gym members uncomfortable by looking at them. Sexual harassment is starting to be defined as something that makes the person feel bad and less about intent. So obviously it should not matter whether the other person can actually make use of their eyes. This garbage is the bitter fruit of Metu. From women being hypersensitive to the point, they imagine anyone looking in their general direction to be leering at them, to it becoming a thing, to claim this happened to you on social media to it puffing the ego of certain types by being able to boss others around and cause them harm. And above all, fear of Metu and its daughter's movements is what led to that extraordinarily dumb comment by the manager. No wonder a lot of men aren't going to gyms anymore. No wonder a lot of gyms are going bankrupt. If cases like this still happen, men are going to start building home gyms. That is if they aren't even already doing that. Women just can't do no wrong. Bullocks. We saw another of Metu's bitter fruits in the crazed complaint about Dan for being cordial and professional and not socializing with the girls to the extent one was threatening to complain to HR. The rise of a set of women who think that they're being wronged if the behavior of others isn't exactly the way they want it, even when it has minimal impact on them, and that they're entitled to get the authorities to enforce what they want. I guess what women want from us is a return to the Dark Ages where men are considered peasants and women are considered nobles and a peasant's gaze must not meet the gaze of a nobles. They want a situation where men must stare directly at the floor or wear blindfolds or working out in a gym that has both men and women working out there. And sure, I'm not saying that there aren't creepy men out there who go to the gym to work out and pervert women. Absolutely, this does happen. But this is going the same way as the Metu movement where the narrative was only women are victims. How long will it be until we set up male-only gyms to protect against false accusations, only to be told that male-only gyms are sexist, and forced to either open them up to women or to close them? The gym has become such a disgrace. I can't even imagine how it must be to walk inside a gym for the first time and see hoes with their tripods and phones making TikTok videos. What a nightmare. People want to talk about toxic masculinity, but that's nowhere near as bad as feminism, which is why these women feel entitled and obliged to go after men and to seek confrontation. I saw a comment on a YouTube video talking about how a lot of our problems can be solved with a punch to the face and situations like this are making me imagine what if. You know, it's so weird how women are feeling uncomfortable when a man glances but they are completely comfortable showing their body to thousands of people on TikTok and Instagram. You punch a girl in the face, it's instant jail time, and you're an absolute monster for even thinking about it, and everyone who sees it will mob you within an inch of your life. You punch a guy in the face, and it's just a Tuesday. Hell, you might even be friends after it, or get kicked out of the place, if it's like a bar or gym or whatever. Women and children first, always, and they're both largely immune to any consequences of their actions or what effects their words may have on others. Hell, a girl can say you hit or abuse her and you've never even seen each other before. She's just had too much at the bar and congrats. 
Now two guys are ready to kick your teeth in, never mind the bar staff watching over the situation. Thankfully, I was able to talk my way out of it with the help of a girl next to me vouching for me, and also the guy responsible for the light show at the bar backing me up. But if it was just me, or I didn't have my personal female character reference on hand, it could've gone to shit. Nothing makes you feel like a second-class citizen faster than needing a specific class or demographic to bail you out of something someone in the same protected class started. I said in one of my previous videos that if you're going to the gym solely to get in shape, and not for any kind of ego boost, then I don't think you'll leave a hoot if people stare at you while you're working out. It's really easy, just ignore everyone and perform your set as if no one is around, without offending anyone or misrepresenting them on camera for the sake of a good punchline or audience participation. I feel like this is an everyday thread on social media to get guys into trouble falsely. A man's life is worth exactly one retweet, one like, and one follow. Utter nonsense. Should I also say that a lot of these girls have main character syndrome? They are so insecure about themselves that they think everything is about them. These women can't be cured because they're delusional creatures. Anyway, that's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.